I like Duke's 101 because it gets to show the student athlete for who they are. Woo! Let go! Let go! <laughs> it's necessary. It gives student athletes the opportunity to tell their story from their point of view. Hey Duke fans, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Duke's 101. Today I have the pleasure of sitting down with junior forward on the women's soccer team, the very talented and stylish Steph Cologne. I'm your host Jay Spinks. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Duke's 101. Steph, you're from Babylon, New York, which is out on Long Island. You went to St. Anthony's High School. You know what? I actually bought a cheat sheet to keep up with some of your high school accolades. Let's dive right into it. You were a four-year letter winner in high school. In 2009, you were voted team captain, right? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> you were a two-time league champion, ESPN Rise Magazine, all area top 25 in the NYC metro area. Before going to HBC ISA Arsenal, you played your club soccer for Massapequa Power, helping them win three state championships. Man, girl, you did your thing. 2004 through 2006, Region 1 National Series semifinalists. And then, I'm sorry, I almost hit you in the face with that one. Uh, you major here in Duquesne uh, in pre-medical health management systems. You're on the Dean's list here. You're on the Atlantic 10 Commissioner's Honor Roll. You're also on the Director of Athletics Honor Roll. I don't know how you do it. As a freshman here at Duquesne, you played in 19 matches starting 9. As a sophomore, you played in 19 matches starting 16. And as a junior, I think your play pretty much spoke for itself. Now, seeing you have all of these accolades, you, you seem to continue to strive for success, whether it be in athletics or it be in education. Talk to us a little bit about your journey and, and what all of this means to you. Um, it's been a really fun journey, I guess. I've done a lot and seen a lot of things, and it's, it means a lot, obviously. I mean, it's shaped me into kind of who I've become today. So. I think your parents have to be pretty proud about the fact that you're on full scholarship playing a sport that you love, that they probably love to, to watch you play, and then you're holding it down in the classroom as well. So congratulations to you and all of those accolades. Steph, it seems as if you're consistently transitioning your career, whether it be in academics or athletics. How do you find the time as a student athlete to continue to excel and work on the skills in academics as well as those little nicks and crannies in, in those of your athletics? Um, it's really, it's all about that time management, I guess. So coaches always tell you you need to manage your time and use it wisely and when you have free time, uh, you need to enjoy yourself, but you also have to do your work as well. So. You make it sound so easy. I'm sure it's not that easy, but hey, we'll roll with it. Now, I said to you one time that I'm a huge fan of your style on the field. You always have either orange cleats or some type of vibrant color. So, in excitement for this interview, I did my own little research and I went around, I collected some items, I dug up some items of my own, and I want to get your advice. I want to see what your style is like. Is that cool? Okay. So. We're still going to do the 5 and 5, but I, I call this segment, this is specifically for you, I call it Styling with Steph. Is that alright? So, um, let's sit back. I want to see your style. You give me the yay or nay. Alright? So, if you were to play basketball, I got a lot of variety here, so let me know what's up. If you were to play basketball, would you wear these kicks? White and black Adidas Pro Models. I like it too bland. I wouldn't wear I wouldn't wear them either. <laughs> Alright, now you gotta get this right. I'm a former football player, so I'm huge on cleats. Alright? So if you were to have a, a younger brother, okay. maybe you do, or an older brother that played played football, would you allow them to walk out the house and play in these these spikes? No. No colors too bland? Too bland. Nah, I agree. Alright. <laughs> now on the field sometimes, you seem like a track star. You know, you're dashing down the middle of the field sometimes to, to catch that ball and, you know, make a score. So, if you were to run track, could I catch you on the track in these? 
think you probably could actually. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Last one. If I were to see you out at the movies on a Saturday, could I see these in your streetwear apparel? No, not on me. <laughs> no customs? No customs, blue, white, and red Duquesnes? No, maybe in Palumbo running. Okay, okay. As long as you put them on, I, I, can, <laughs> I can roll with you. All right, Steph, welcome to my favorite part of the show. I think you know that by now. This part of the show is called the five and five, which means you have five seconds to answer each of the five questions. Now, I just want to let you know, Steph, some people have been taking advantage of my kindness as well as my time management skills. So, I obviously haven't been counting five seconds. I brought my watch today. I'm going to keep the time on you. You got five seconds. You ready to do this? I'm ready. All right. First up, first five and five questions, Steph. Who is the funniest girl on the soccer team? Emily Crook. <laughs> <laughs> Second five and five question. It's game day. Arrival in the A10. What's bumping in your iPod? Oh no! Uh, uh, turbulence done. Ooh, I like that one. Third five and five question, Steph. If tomorrow's soccer wasn't an option, what does Steph Cologne do? Um, I I'm past five seconds. One. Uh, <laughs> Steph Clone does it's okay, thank you. I really don't know. It's boring. I read. <laughs> <Yeah>. Bad answer. <laughs> no, be a student athlete. That was a good answer, Steph. I'm sorry. Four, five, and five. Four, five, and five. Question: Who is the loudest girl on the women's soccer team? <laughs> uh, Devin Tabata. Um, I think I'd have to agree with you. <laughs> Last five and five question. You ready? Yeah. You got to do this right. What's your most memorable moment within Duquesne women's soccer this far? Um, most memorable moment had to be when we made it to the A-10s my freshman year. Excellent. Excellent. Steph, talk to us. Let us all know what does the game of soccer mean to you? Um, soccer is really something that my dad and I do a lot together. So that's obviously really important to me not just playing but we also watch it together so it's always been kind of like our bond thing since I was younger yeah yeah <laughs> so that's special I like that talk to us and let us know some valuable advice that you received throughout your career to help keep your head and, and you know your mind on track on, on the things that's important and continue to motivate you throughout your career um, one of my coaches once told me that you're not always going to be the best player but if you're the like hardest working player I guess then that makes you just as valuable or more valuable than any player with all the skill in the world so that's something that's always kind of helped me ever since I think I was like 14 when they told me that so <laughs> I mean I'm here so that's definitely some great advice so with that question lastly if you could give some advice to a young athlete who aspires to play soccer at the collegiate level what is some advice that you would give them? Um, some advice for a younger athlete, if you don't make a team or if you don't, uh, if you're not succeeding, I guess right away you gotta just keep trying because you just, you can't quit because when you quit early you miss out on opportunities like coming and playing in college, so. What would you say about your collegiate experience? Do you think that it was worth the trials and the ups and downs that you faced throughout, you know, your entire soccer career? Uh, I would say it's most definitely worth it. I, would, I wouldn't change this for anything, so. Excellent. All right, Duke fans. What y'all see here is me crashing Steph Clone's interview. I'm Shelly Moulton, and I'm on the soccer team with Steph. And it's my birthday. I was not going to let Steph end this interview without wishing me a happy birthday. So she does. And I bounce. Holla! I know y'all didn't think I was leaving that easy. It's my birthday! All right, Duke fans. We'll catch y'all next time. Let go, let go! <laughs> I know it 
what's necessary. It gives student athletes the opportunity to tell their story from their point of view.